What's my baby want? I want to be white, like I look. Hey, hold up. Carolyn Brady, Washington. Frederica Carolyn Washington was born in Savannah, Georgia, December 23rd, 1903, to Robert T. Washington and Harriet Walker. Both were of African American and European ancestry. Washington moved to Harlem along with her family during the Great Migration when black families fled the Jim Crow South in search of better opportunities in the North. Washington had green eyes and light skin that contradicted the era's common belief of what an African American should look like. Washington knew that regardless of her looks, she would always be seen by white audiences as color regard unless she agreed to pass as white. Racial passing allowed black Americans to sidestep racism faced by black people and claim the privilege of whiteness publicly. But it also alienated people from others of their culture. Washington immersed herself into the then growing Harlem Renaissance. Washington was surrounded by blacks expressing themselves in music, art, dance, poetry, and acting. She herself was a talented dancer and singer and later became an actress. She traveled to Europe and then New York in stage plays. At that time, African-American actors were normally placed in subservient roles like maids and butlers. Washington broke through that barrier in 1934 when she played in the movie Imitation of Life. Ironically, the film touched on the practice of passing, something she in her personal life had fiercely declined to do. Washington played the role of Piola, the daughter of a black housekeeper, Louise Beavers, whose life is closely intertwined with that of a white widow and her daughter. Piola turns her back on her mother, who later dies in a very heart-wrenching death scene brought on by the betrayal of her daughter. The movie became an enormous hit within the black community However, ironically, Washington's breakthrough role cut short her acting career. To white Hollywood, she so identified with Piola that it was difficult to cast her in other roles. They refused to cast a black actress in a leading role, and she was too light-skinned to play a maid. So Washington made two more movie appearances Oleana in 1936 and One Mile from Heaven in 1937. Washington turned her talent and energy to activism and journalism. In 1937, she helped to found the Negro Actors Guild of America, a group that advocated for better working conditions and less stereotypical roles for black actors. She became a dramatic critic writer for African-American papers. She also served as a casting consultant for films and theatrical productions concerning race. Frederica Carolyn Freddie Washington died on June 28, 1994. She was 90 years old. And here's a quote that she said in 1945. Early in my career, it was suggested that I might get further by passing as a French or something exotic, but to pass for economic and other advantages would have meant that I swallowed whole hog the idea of black in 
in New York. In 1975, Freddie Washington was inducted into the Black Filmmakers Hall 